so this was kind of a uh, spontaneous upload. I don't usually do this. Usually I have a thought and I'll, I don't know, put one, three days into it, maybe think it over. But I just, I, I felt so obligated to talk about this because it was just such a crazy event when it came out. Okay, so unless you didn't know, uh, one of my favorite movies ever made, uh, in my opinion, was The Iron Giant. It, good storyline, great animation. There's, there's nothing I can say that like will get me off and say it's not a good movie. Maybe you could say there's not enough action, but again, it's a cartoon. I don't really expect anything less from that. Uh, but there was a day, there was a day that uh, really this film shines some light. And what I mean by shine this light, I mean 24 hours. So let me let me elaborate on that. Cartoon Network in 2002 decided, hey, let's film this entire fi- no, let's play this entire movie 24 hours straight. No stops, 24 hours straight. Nothing could go wrong, right? Well, nothing did. Luckily, nothing did. But you see, the thing is, though, it's just such an interesting tale. It's su- such an interesting thing that happened that I just felt so obligated to bring it up. So anyways, um, I remember I was I was actually at the TV. At the first time I ever saw the movie, it was by accident. You see, <clears throat> back in 2002, I think I was around four, maybe four five going on five about to turn five and i was at a friend's house and i think they were playing the tv again and again and i remember i was playing with some toys or whatever and you know they had cartoon network on because you know every kid plays cartoon network my mom a little bit more overprotective so we didn't really necessarily have that on in our house so you know i enjoy for a bit so anyway i was watching that for a little bit and it was seemed like it was getting to the end of the movie. But then I go play with some toys with my friend. I come back down, and apparently they're still playing the movie, but it seems like they've gone back in time a bit. And I was like, what? And then I, I, I think I remember later, like maybe like a couple days, no, 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 not a couple days, a couple hours later, I think uh, I hung out somewhere I think I went bowling with my mom or something like that and a couple family friends. But anyway, I ended up uh, uh, coming back to see the film again. So <laughs> seeing the film three times in one day, it, it kind of sticks with you, especially if it's on the same network that you watch almost religiously at your friend's house. And so I guess... What happened really was I I ended up just uh, looking it up because I was like maybe it was a dream because it's such an odd thing you expect if it's if it's gonna be like twenty four hours in a day it's got to be in your dream it's got to be something made up in your head but I look it up you know I look up some form posts and lo and behold <laughs> oh my gosh lo and behold I was right it was an actual thing that happened. So, um, there was a specific post I remember. I I looked it up. I think I looked up Iron Giant 24 Hours. And what ended up happening was I found this post on this site called The Straight Dope. Which I'm assuming, I don't know, maybe it's like a weed form or something like that. But this was dated from 2002. So it was like almost taking like a, uh, a trip back to the past. So anyway... Starts off, you have this user named Opal Cat. He's like, um, starting tomorrow night, Cartoon Network will be running a 24-hour marathon of the Iron Giant. Yes, the movie. <laughs> over and over, back to back for 24 hours. And then he does, I don't know, early emojis, I guess? Um, I, I guess that's the best way I can phrase I can phrase it. But some other guy kind of confirmed his uh, I guess idea that this is actually a thing that's going to happen and he continued with saying to him exactly I have no idea why they're running for 24 freaking hours it's just the movie 
not any making of the Iron Giant or behind the scenes or anything, just the movie. And I do remember that too. I do remember there was nothing. It just was. A no, it almost seemed like a normal day, but instead of just playing a couple things here, a couple things there, dude, just would constantly play that film. Regular bumpers, everything else. Just that. That was that was the only thing that was off. And they never gave any signification that that was going on while they were doing it. Almost like a casual day. But anyways, um, we go on. We have a guy named Max Carnage who says, hopefully this means the special edition DVD is coming out soon. And then the NAR user, he goes by Gobert, was like, well, TNT, the former Ted Turner property, not but not now owned by Time Warner, shows a 24-hour marathon of a Christmas story every year. Now, I didn't know about that, but that just seemed, that does seem kind of interesting too. Um, I guess they don't do it anymore because obviously, you know, this is like 2000. Like, I guess the, I guess kind of like the cable companies were having a little bit of experimental things. But anyways, so we go on and um, it says, I'm looking forward to it. At least one showing's worth, as I have yet to see the film, but have heard it's one of the best anime films. And he's right, it is. It's a, I almost said anime films, but you know, obviously not. There was a post about some guy saying it's it would have been better if Hao Miyazaki directed it, but you know, that's not really how it works, I guess. But anyway, so I go down a little bit more, and it seems like. Uh, I think it's the original guy, or no, it's not. It's a, it's the guy who says I'm looking to at least one showing's worth, and so he's like, I just watched it, now I'm watching it a second time. So <laughs> he's pulled in, he's pulled in by the charm of the movie, I guess. But he goes in for a second time. You have another person saying, oh, here is one of this person named Arden Ranger, who apparently has kids too. And he gives this whole synopsis of how the kids are playing around, which I expect this movie might be a kids movie, but I am expecting it more or less. It it is more or less for like maybe 10 or nine year olds. Uh, But anyway, he says, well, it's a nice movie, but my kids have managed to take all the charm out of it for me by now. Boy turns on, on at 730, starts to wander off, leaves the TV on, comes back and later and starts watching again and has to three times like that to finally see the whole thing daughter does the same thing only she does it after the son goes to bed it has been playing constantly since 7 30 so i mean i don't know okay so this guy says this at 3 38 a.m and he says since 7.30, so I'm assuming by that he means he's been pl- <laughs> it's been playing the entire day, like, on and off. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's up with this person. But he's like, this way, my kids will always watch the movie, over and over, until I know the dialogue by heart and I'm ready to rip the tape up. Finally, however, I get to turn it off Maybe in a month I'll be able to watch it on DVD that the kids say it now that they want. But right now, I don't want to see it anymore. Honestly, I don't blame the guy. A, a little, but like, uh, in my own opinion, I could watch that movie again and again and not get bored. That's only to themselves. And the final post to end it off was someone said, I watched it all, but the first 20 minutes of it. And I thought it was a good movie, but every time I turned on, I can't catch the beginning. It doesn't help that it starts at like 9.45 instead of 10, which I didn't know it started at odd times like that. It didn't start specifically at 10 or anything. But anyways, but I thought it was a mo- good movie nonetheless. I wanted to see it when it first came out, but I forgot about it until I saw it last night. Well, all I can say to that, it's just, it's just an interesting moment. You never see someone... Play, an I wouldn't say normal movie, but I would say like a movie that kind of was a B-rated film. He played for twenty-four hours straight, and again, there was other films that, well, there was other things that were going on during 
uh, this week. I think it was called Giant Week or something. There was a time when they played Evangelion, the first two episodes. There was some older ones, but it wasn't for 24 hours straight. And I bet you if you did this nowadays, if <laughs> if you did this on a station nowadays, I mean, first off, nobody would really care because everyone watches YouTube. Second off, the, for the people who do watch it, I, I don't know. They, they got... There's something odd with them. I, I don't I don't understand it. That's to them. Anyways, that's a quick uh, overview. Uh, thought I'd make this quick video. Hopefully you enjoy. Uh, hit the subscribe bell. I I post random content. You never know what I'm gonna get. Sometimes I'll do tech video. Sometimes I'll do an art thing. It just doesn't matter. Just whatever on my mind. Uh, if if you don't like it, just unsubscribe. I don't care. Freaking report me doesn't matter. Anyways, have a wonderful night.